Hi, my name is Mike Fladlin, and today I'd like to show you how to calculate the interest in dollars when given the principal, the rate, and the time. The principal, what I call P, is the amount of money that you borrow or you get as a loan. The rate, which is what I call R, is expressed in percent, and T, which is time, is expressed in years. What I'd like to do is a simple example to show you how to apply principal times rate times time. Suppose that somebody borrows $100 and the interest rate is 10% and they borrow it for two years. The amount of interest in dollars that they would pay would be $20. Of course, that would just be the amount of interest that they would pay they would have to pay back the principal that they borrowed plus the amount of interest in dollars, which is 20. So they would have to pay back $820. Sometimes students get um, confused over the time, so I would just like to do a few time uh, calculations. If the loan would have been for six months, then you would have to express the amount in years so there's 12 months in a year, and the time expressed in years then would be one half or 0.5 of a year. Likewise, if it was for three months, three out of 12 would be equal to one fourth of a year or 0.25. So be careful when you make your interest calculations that you express time in years or as a fraction of years. Finally, uh, students sometimes have trouble writing percent. Like, for example, sometimes they write 5% as 0.5, which would be 50%. So when you make your calculations, remember that 5% means 5 parts of 100, or 0.05.